yeah so today's class is off topic <coughs> marketing and i don't teach seo because i'm not good at seo but i'm really i know a few tips how to get to the audience how to make people use it and some internet marketing essay <coughs> cool so yeah <coughs> now uh, let me start uh, from you know from the idea phase to you know when we reach to the you know our target audience so whenever what happens with the normal world is like whenever they get an idea they feel like you know it's it's just an awesome idea why can why don't people use it just because you feel like it's an awesome idea it doesn't mean that people still use it people use it because if you solve a problem so it's always about about the problem like you know even if you if you got a problem and you are solving your problem yeah that's a cool idea but like say uh, for instance uh, there's a guy you know like you know this this guy does a small experiment like say uh, this guy has a dog he wanted uh, his his dog eats dog food every day so he thought like hey why can't i sell dog food online so he felt like yeah it's a good idea so let's let's start selling dog food online so instead of instead of you know uh, just testing it he felt like like you know there are say this guy was in us so he thought like there were some you know uh, at least 1 million dogs in us so if it all in 1 million if one person so in 1 million one person is somewhere on how much thousand yeah if if it all thousand dogs thousand dog owners buy this dog food from me and if i make at least 3 dollars from each dog owner then he felt like he can make 3000 dollars a day so again dogs have no holidays they eat it on sunday it's 30 days again so 30 days into 3000 dollars is 90000 dollars <throat> so when multiplied with 12 months oh it's it's whopping how much um, 30 days 3000 90000 into 12 oh awesome cool so it's someone yeah someone 7.2 million i guess yeah 90000 into 10 is 9 million 900 sorry 900 grand Yeah, someone say let's take I mean uh, based on all the old loads. Yeah, let's say he 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 takes hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred thousand dollars a year. So it's a successful business model, right? So even if it's one percent, <clears throat> so he felt like that and he started like you know he he started buying uh, borrowing money from people and saying this idea. Hey, yeah, that's a that's a cool that's a cool idea. So everybody started saying, hey, really? Yeah, this is a cool idea. Yeah, we'll fund you. so people are saying like that so this guy uh, took some borrowed some money and started some uh, you know rockstar team like you know people who code for online uh, solution <coughs> and he put some marketing guys and he is is doing this so uh, in a process like you know uh, he did not test it he did not do anything so he just starting preparing things so these guys who gave money to this guy started coming to him after 3 months saying hey dude uh, you know you just said like 90000 per month and it's been 3 months so there's a money <clears throat> so he said like hey guys uh, just wait since you know it's a lot of traffic uh, i need so much of resources i need more resources to work on the e-commerce solution and i need more people for marketing so yeah just keep on waiting it's a cool idea right that's what he said to the people so i mean <clears throat> so after after a while again uh, you know uh, then after two months pass again so these guys were so nervous like hey what happened did you sell anything so finally some 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 day he said like hey nobody is buying dog food dude i mean i think the, the the dogs are not interested in it so i mean ultimately it's a good idea like selling dog food online but feel if nobody buys it it's a wasted idea and that's how it work that that's how it happens like you know very very much people start their businesses thinking that people will actually buy it but <clears throat> the reality is people won't buy it unless until it really solves their pain point so uh, whenever you get an idea what we are supposed to do so god god there say for instance uh, sandeep sandeep has an idea say sandeep uh, <clears throat> wanted a community for this royal enfield bikers so he wanted uh, he wanted to some customized royal enfield like stickers yeah 
yeah like stickers or i don't know uh, because i don't have any idea about it so if you if you get an idea what you got what you're supposed to do is like talk to a few people who have this royal enfield so just ask one question do i'm trying to sell a particular thing will you pay money for it so if if then people will say hey what do you I mean what, what you are just talking like why do i pay or you know i can get this from my your competitor or i can get this from a local store so people may say a lot of things then <clears throat> that's it you got it now what what you got like okay yeah people they are competitors people are actually buying it from somewhere else then what you are supposed to do yeah this is a cool idea now you the next question you got asked like how how difficult it is for you to you know uh, buy this product then he may come he may come he, he will come up with the idea he will give you the idea that you know hey sandeep do this so that you know this eases my pain point like say for instance royal enfield has a very limited stores they they do they do accessories like very limited if i guess there is one in banjara hills and the other one is uh, and this is hyderabad i'm saying Okay, if there is one in Banjara Hills and then one is in uh, Malakur, I guess. So they are they are far away. Like they say, they may say like, hey, whenever I get a repair for my bike, I should all the way go to this, uh, you know, uh, other service center to get it repaired. So that's where the the pain point is. So the first thing is talk to the customers. Talk to the people. Whom do you think can buy this? Uh, don't don't talk to your friends who doesn't have see there is no point in talk to you, talking to a person who doesn't have a royal enfield because he knows he he does he, he doesn't know anything about it so talk to the right guys talk to the people who who can actually pay for it so that guy is called your immediate adopter like say for instance tomorrow if you start selling this product who is the first person to buy it so that's where it comes so how do we find these guys Now coming, there comes the in social media marketing. There comes the internet marketing. So if if you go physically, you may not find much much of the people. People have different opinions. People may have different opinions. They may not give you the right right thing to do. Now, <clears throat> the first thing to do in social media marketing is nowadays people use Facebook, people use Twitter, people use Google Plus or Quora. Now Quora is a big hit now, and you know people use Pinterest, Instagram. and say what uh, uh stumble upon so these are all different social media platforms where people actually hang out so <clears throat> now say royal enfield they are selling something some accessories or some stickers or whatever something related to royal enfield so now we should know who are all using royal enfields now you can find royal enfield groups in facebook or <clears throat> you can you can just go on twitter and search for royal enfield hashtag Royal Enfield. Then you will get a lot of results saying people talking about Royal Enfield. So if somebody is talking about Royal Enfield, that means he either own a Royal Enfield or he likes a Royal Enfield. So yeah, you got you got this guy. And there is another thing on Quora. You go to Quora and just search for Royal Enfield. So there will be a hell of questions on Royal Enfield. People may ask like, you know, what model is your Royal Enfield, or you know, are you driving a Royal Enfield? So you get these are the clues. like where actually we had to go and search for so now okay you know you know in facebook there is a group called royal enfield people are let's see you go to the group and see the engagement over there if the engagement is less that means like people are not really interested to talk about royal enfield on facebook it they they seldom care about the royal enfield group but they do own a royal enfield group or they are they are looking to buy a royal enfield so you just go through the group check for conversations like if the conversation is really going well yeah this group is active now just post something like hey uh, don't don't say like you know you you are selling it okay sell so like hey i find this really cool place cool online place where they sell royal enfield accessories or royal enfield stickers so if you say like you know i am selling royal enfield stickers would anyone buy it people say hey don't just go away don't spam us but if you say hey i find this this can be useful to you yeah definitely people will click on it because that's what if people people are pride centric people feel like hey if sandeep owns this yeah i should also own it for my royal enfield so that's what people really think about it so what what you do is like hey i really fun for instance take two those like you go you go to some uh, some of the fashion groups or they and say hey uh, you know i found this really cool website 
you know wherein you know a real guy teaches you coding and you can you can uh, ultimately land a job after learning the course so then definitely people feel like hey you know, i mean this guy is jobless and he is learning code and he will get a job after 45 days yeah that's really cool why can't i try it that's what drives people actually to click on something instead if i go there and say hey i am taking a class now uh, will you will you attend the class they will like hey why should i attend this class there's nothing in it because i am a tutor there they feel like i am a tutor i'm selling something for them but instead talk to them like a like a fellow customer so that's that's first thing we got to do on facebook like don't express yourself like just say hey i found this really cool website then definitely people will click on it now again coming to the point like people click on it and you have to show them that awesome product like say if if you are selling royal enfield stickers show them awesome royal enfield stickers so that you know they engage they come back again just because you put a click link there and they click on it if it's not so user friendly or if you if you are not selling royal enfield stickers but you are you are doing some other you know useless thing people really then and then and then and then only they comment on that like saying hey this guy is really you know wasting our time posting some you know uh, some bullshit link over there that's what they may feel so instead yeah you have an idea talk to talk to the customers parallelly what you got what you are supposed to do is like what are you got there put it in a way, in a way such that people actually buy it so yeah uh, it's it's not like you know uh, like making something making a website uh, selling some stuff doesn't take you like years previously it used to take at least 6 months to you know get a e-commerce site live but nowadays like with php and other cms tools you can you can you can make your e-commerce website live in in less than one week like it's it's just in in a matter of clicks you don't even have to code actually but yeah you are you are supposed to know php so that you can make changes according to you know your customers so yeah and you know getting getting our website live is say seven days meanwhile you, you are supposed to make some friends in royal enfield uh, group like say hey i'm sandeep i'm you know i'm new to this group i have i own a royal enfield too blah 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 like engage engage you lose so finally one day you pop up and say since you already made friends in the in the group now if if you come there and say yeah i found this website which really sells awesome uh, royal enfield stickers people definitely click on it so meanwhile this is what you got supposed to i say tomorrow uh, you got you got your uh, supplies say royal you are you are buying royal enfield stickers from mumbai and you are sitting at home and you you got the supply today so from today you are supposed to make friends who want royal enfield on facebook let's say so you 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 keep on and meanwhile you just you know set up your buy your domain and host it uh make this e-commerce e-commerce website we not make friends and suddenly when this thing is live or bug free then yeah start okay this is what i found at the same time yeah what what you are supposed to do is like go on twitter go go on twitter then again start writing like you know make make few friends who on royal enfield there are people if if you search with the keyword royal enfield there will be there will be users just follow them Twitter, what happens in twitter is like if you follow a person they follow you back it's like written gift <clears throat> this is what happens in the real world like if you really follow someone they follow you back if they are really interested and post something like you know before just blindly following them you keep posting about royal enfield like you know about royal enfield so you say you say like royal enfield is an awesome bike this is a new bike which is coming in royal enfield this is this much lakhs and you know i wish i have this but i own this so keep engaging like previously before following them keep in keep engaging and you know what in twitter you can i guess there's a number of followers in each day like you can at least follow 5000 i guess i don't remember the exact number but yeah you can follow 5000 a day like there is no restriction in following someone so you just go there and find people who are who are interested in royal enfield follow them follow them do this in the same one week as i said follow them keep engaging then again come to google plus same do the same stuff like you know you keep posting making follow people make new friends okay uh, then go to quora quora then start saying like you know hey what's 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 royal enfield what's happening <clears throat> this way you got to do you got to do this on all websites when you know there are really actual royal enfield enthusiasts 
Then final day, the launch day, you just say, okay, hey, I found this. This is what's happening. Like keep engaging with them. Now I'll tell you one more thing about this Facebook. Like say you posted today on Facebook, any group. It doesn't mean that all of the members are online that time and they come like you know they are looking at it. You by uh, I guess like only say five or twenty or at least thirty only. Only thirty people will actually see that. Out of which one or two actually click on it. So what you are supposed to do, you are supposed to engage, re-engage. It is better if you get an email of those users because these guys are actually having a royal and field. So whenever they come to your website, like you know at Todos Live, what we do is like if, if you are really interested in having a demo, I'll take your email because I want to keep you updated. Like you know, whenever I I, I, I host a new session or I host I host a new class, I just email you saying, Hey, this is where I want I'm hosting the class. If you're interested, come back again. And if at all I write a blog, I'll just take the blog and email to my, my subscribers. So it is always better to take those emails. So whenever this guy clicks on your on your link, just take their email address. Ask them to give their email. Hey, if you want to know about the new stickers coming up, or if you want to keep updated and get the latest stickers, yeah, just subscribe your email, dude. I'll list your know, email whenever there's a new stock coming up. So this engages the users. Like, if he's really interested in stickers, yeah, I mean this sounds good. Yeah, new sticker. Maybe tomorrow you may give him a Led Zeppelin sticker or a fire sticker. So he, he may be interested in knowing few things about your your store. So he subscribed definitely. If he is not subscribed, yeah, he's a loser, not not we guys, because he's not following us. So yeah, first day you posted the link. Then I guess only few people see it. Now what happens in Facebook groups is like, you know, if it's an active group, people will be posting, posting, posting. So then your post will be pushed to the back. The the actual actual thing in Facebook is like if there are more comments on the post, that post will be appeared the first. Then comes the most number of likes. Then comes the most number of shares. So it's all about the comments again. That's, that's the reason I ask my subscribers to comment on it. So if, if they comment on it, yeah, it appears in the news feed at the top. So that people don't have to scroll. So uh, so what, what you're supposed to do is like post it on the first day. If, if it gets pushed to the back, just comment on it or just post a new link or ask your friends to join the group and post a comment on it so that that, that post will again it, it gets re-engaged it comes to the top so tomorrow some other guy will log in and come to this group and see it and click it so that's how you have to engage with your users do not just post it once and go back and feel like hey you know people will be you know watching this link all the time or you know if, if people are interested they'll come don't think like that just go ahead, re-engage, 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 comment, like, share, tag, do whatever to let it appear on your uh, on on the on the group uh, page. The following 